Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. It's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Got a couple of, got a few cool products that have arrived. Let's get to the unboxing. We'll start with this one. Right here. I'm excited about this one. I can't tell you how excited I am about this one. One of the biggest issues when you're are in the RV, and I know this is going to sound weird if you're not in, into the RV scene, but the shower tends to be a point of contention. It either uses too much water, it doesn't have enough hot water, you get a cold blast, or if you're a tall person like me, you have to shower bent over. So, when this was presented as an option, I thought, yeah, buddy. I don't, I'm gonna have to get the RV to properly display that, but we're gonna unbox it. This is sent to us by Arnon Jabak. Ar Arnon Jabak. Arnon Jabak. This is a, this is a cool thing. So it is, First and foremost, or not first and foremost, but it's a handheld shower, as well as a rainfall shower for the RV. So we have a, a diverter valve that mounts on the shower wall that allows you to have an extended shower head so I no longer have to hunch over to take a shower and I'll get it I'll get it installed in the RV in, a, in the next day or so and we'll, we'll get a good look at this because trying to show it to you and explain it to you right here is not doing it justice so we'll come back to this one so the next one I thought was really interesting. This was sent to us by Even Technology. Now, you know, I have a wife that's a, she's a flashlight aficionado. Uh, but this, I think this is really gonna in intrigue her, excite her maybe. There, got it. Fully charge it before you store it. We got the little hanger things. So they look like LED light bulbs. Which they are LED light bulbs, but they are LED light bulbs that have a battery built in. And you hang it right up. Or they can serve, I think they can serve as a, as a, just a battery backup in the event that you have a power outage. Oh, that's interesting. So, you can use a binder clip. So you put this, if you put these in a lamp, you can use a, a binder clip, a paper clip to, Turn your lamp on. Okay, so you can put these in a normal lamp. And it will light up. And it will, if you're using it as just a normal light bulb, it's charging the little battery that's built into it. And when the power goes out, you turn the breaker off and the bulb comes on. Why you turn the breaker off, I don't know. Or, you can take them camping and just hang them up with a little included hook. Well, these are most, most intriguing. Put it back in here and we'll, we'll move on to the next, the next Friday signs. I need to come up with a, a theme. I don't have a theme. It's just a random product selection. Okay, the next thing, wait, I'll be back. 
So the next thing on our list comes from Pavel Direct. And they have sent us, I've been hearing a lot about these, these, these types of products. With, you know, it's really cool that you can go into a store and you don't even have to pull out your your wallet or you don't have to you don't have to run a credit card you just walk up and tap that card that creates a problem with this little this little RFID chip somebody can read it that's what this is this is a wallet that protects your RFID cards. Now look, this even has a place to put your ID. So you can flip your ID into here somehow. It's pretty tight, so your, your ID's not, you don't have to worry about your ID coming out. Oh, even, even has a one year warranty. There we go. So now we have the driver's license. How many cards can we fit in there? Does it say? We can fit 10 cards. Well, actually 11 if you count the driver's license. And there's a place on the back for your cash stash. And I guess we can put, well, we probably ought to put that inside of here because I get sweaty. And now my insurance card is protected as well. So there you go. 10 cards. RFID protected. And it fits right there in the breast pocket. One year warranty right there. That is cool. And it comes in a very nice package. Just look at this box. That, that would make an excellent gift. All right. Moving, moving right along. That's uh, three of five. Let's go to number four. Number four comes to us. This is a returning, a returning video sponsor. This is from Vic Topper. Vic Topper, they do, they do lights. Disappointed? We'll make it right. Oh, double up on the charge cords because. This is a, a his and her set. Check this out. His and her headlamp. Oh, that's bright. Lots of different lighting functions. And it fits on your head. Just like that. So if you've got a ball cap on, you can actually put it above the brim on this with this one. Just like that. Handy dandy, you can't have enough light. That's really cool. All right, next, the fifth product. It's interesting that this was sent. This is from Jowson, and I think we're, we're probably going to be seeing some more from the Jowson Shoe Company. Look at that! Oil resistant sole. That is, that is leather. But that means I got to put some socks on, because you know, I only wear shoes when it's cold. So let me go put some socks on and then we'll, 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 we'll go for a stroll. Oh, 
I like them. They're, they're comfortable. I like them, I like them. The darkest room in the house. That's why we're in here. We're, we're working with this light bulb, this package of light bulbs. There's four of these really, really cool light bulbs. So we're going to put the light together. Turn it on. And while we're in here, there it is. We'll turn that one off. So the switches do the same thing. There is no difference in, well, there's two switches on here, but you have all the same functions. But that's perfect. It's got a motion detector. <laughs> so if it goes off, It goes off when you look down. Maybe it doesn't go off when it looks down. <laughs> now that's handy. You don't have to, you don't have the click noise. Very cool. Can't wait to try that on a campsite. Whoa, that's bright. Okay. I gotta go get an RV. I really like these a lot. They, they fit very well. They walk really well. They didn't rub any, and there's still enough room for when I, They're loose enough that they'll work really well with winter socks as well. You'll like them. I know I do. We're in the bathroom. That's, that's right. We are in the RV restroom. We're actually in here working on the shower. Now check that out. Actually, how about if I step in here so you can see. I'm six foot two. Now I can look right over the top of the, the shower. But now I can actually get under the shower head. We're working on a... The RV's at a pretty steep angle right now, so everything is kind of crooked looking. There we go. Or we can just push the button.
actually lowers the pressure. And we go to higher pressure, switch it over. Now what we don't have on this nozzle is a shut off. There's no shut off, so you would have to turn it off here. I think. But we do have a shut off on this one that came with it also. So in place of that, so now I've swapped it out with this one. That one has a control on it or we can go over here to that and then let's turn it up to the higher pressure and then we can stop it just like that the one thing I discovered while I was doing this little project is so I the original shower head was not attached to a stud in the wall it was attached to just the cavity, which you can see here, that's where the little piece of plastic that held the, the that didn't do much of it. It's supposed to, I guess, hold that hose. But once I put that, found the stud and put the screw in the stud, it, got, it became very, very stable. Our previous shower head wasn't that stable. So we're good to go now. The only, only thing I really wish is that we had a way to shut that off like we do with that one that's okay I got I got the tall shower I'm good to go I like it I know you will too hey I got another cool thing but we got to go down to mom's and you get to meet bullets whoa what a change of scenery went from up there to down here but I have another product and I'm really excited about this one. And if you have a dog, you'll be excited about it too. This is from Snaggle Direct. We gotta get the box open. It's a pretty big box. A lot of background noise. There's some construction going on nearby. got a picture <laughs> there's a reason that I came down to I came down to mom's because she's got a big dog the, the ratty pack wouldn't have much need of this but bullet does it's a ramp for your senior dog Bullet, Bullet now has, so so Bullet's, he's a big lab mix and he, he's about 13. And he can no longer jump into the back of the car. This will work out great for that. Okay. Now we need to get a dog to work with that. So we'll put the camera. Over here. Sit, sit. Hey, hey, buddy, sit down. Sit. 
He said, I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. I get, I get the, we're getting in the car. Okay. Looky here, we got, we got a ramp for you, buddy. Right here. Come here. Come here. I know. This is a new thing. Look here. Look. Come on. You can do it. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, that's so much better, isn't it? Oh, it's so much better. You want to come down? Come on. Let's go. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come here. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! You ready to do it again? Come on, up. Right here, walk up. Walk up. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! That's a good boy! You get your smart dog. Come on, let's go down now. Come on, let's go down. Good boy! One more time. One more time. One more, come on. Took him a couple tries to figure out. Oh, I don't have to jump. That's a, that's a good value. It's not too heavy. Well, let's fold it up. We'll put it in. I'll put it in the car. So that well, probably weighs mm, 15 pounds. Maybe not quite. Maybe they're about 15. And then it fits in just like that. That's a heck of a deal right there. I know Bullet appreciates it, and your senior dog will too. No more struggling to get in the truck. And now Mom will be able to help get Bullet get in the car as well, should she so desire. All right, that brings us to the end of this edition of Friday's Finds. Thank you so much for your time and attention. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. If you've already done that, thank you so much. That's why I get to do what I do. And for my patrons, I am most appreciative. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?